Hey, this is Brian Hoyer with Shielded Healing. We're here again at the Mito Red Light headquarters and we're testing some of their portable products, which are also battery operated. Now battery operated is actually a huge benefit because you have a battery that runs off of DC energy and that has a constant electrical current rather than a pulsed electrical current. So I happen to love these battery operated products uh, even more from an EMF perspective because you can get really close to them and there is zero magnetic field uh, that's pulsating at all. So uh, we're gonna be testing the Mito Flex unit. It's a portable red light therapy device. We're going to be testing the belt and we're going to be testing, where's the other one? Oh, right here, the helmet. We're going to test this too. Okay, and we're going to test it for flicker as well and electric fields, which it won't have any of that because it's not AC, it is DC. So let's just go ahead and start with magnetic fields. So magnetic fields, the ambient levels in the room here are 0 0.1, okay? Now I got the helmet, it's on. You can see the, the light here shining off my fingers. I'm gonna just gonna put this on my head and you can see that it's on. That is not changing at all. I mean, I can't see the screen, but you guys can probably see it there no change whatsoever. So there's no magnetic field from alternating current on this helmet. That's phenomenal. This is the flex panel. And we're gonna turn this on. And this has three different settings. It has red and near infrared together. It has just near infrared, which is invisible, but you can kind of see the little lights that are on, on it. It's just a very dim uh, light, red light that's showing. And then it has only red light. So we'll test it with both. And we have zero. Let me just show you that. Zero reading. I'm right on it. Sandwiched right on it. There's nothing. And no matter which setting you do, this is the invisible near infrared. No rise in magnetic field. This is just the red light no rise in magnetic field. All right, now let's test the belt. All right, the belt has a battery like this. Put it in there and you wrap it around your stomach, your chest, your leg, so many different uses that you can have for it. So it's a really flexible product in that way. And let's go ahead and turn it on full power absolutely nothing so all these products are phenomenal from a magnetic field perspective if you are electro hypersensitive or just really don't want to have magnetic fields close to your body or you want to get really high intensity light close to the body these are all products where you don't have to worry about the magnetic field so the other thing we want to test is flicker so let's go ahead and test that. Now we got flicker from the ambient lighting here. This is at 60 Hertz. This is from an LED light that's pulsing on alternating current. Now let's test first the flex light. Zero flicker. We can also use the sound. So that's from the ambient lighting here. We have zero flicker, zero flicker from the belt. There's some reflection off of these lights that's happening because the belt's a little bit shiny. And then the helmet, it's kind of hard to get it in there, but it's not flickering either. And it, you know, it doesn't really matter with the helmet because when you take it off, here, let's see if we can get this on, on video. It turns off right away and then it can turn back. Is it back on? Yeah, and then it turns back on when you have it. So there's like a little uh, sensor in there that when you take it off, it turns off because the lights are really, really, really powerful and you don't want these lights that are on this in your eyes. So we've got flicker. We measured magnetic fields. And now what else do we have to measure? 
we have electric fields. So this is gonna be another zero reading that we know because this is all operating on batteries, on DC. The pulsating alternating current from electricity is something that we don't like being exposed to. Our ancestors were never exposed to it. So you gotta ground your body to get an accurate reading. And there's zero electric fields on this or on this or on my head with the helmet. And the wire is back here. There's no electric field on that either. Now, all this said, it doesn't mean that all portable products are created equal because we have another product over here that is actually portable on a battery. There's no wires or anything. And look at this product. Let's hear what we have with the flicker. Hold on. So this setting is good actually on this product. Let's change the setting. You can hear the pulsing when I change the settings and everything. Whoa! You can actually see the flicker on that. <laughs> so this one, you can't see the flicker, but you can definitely hear it, okay? And let's look at it on the spectrometer, on the flicker meter. Okay, that is insane, that's intense flicker. So you can't necessarily see it, but a lot of these panels have a ton of flicker on them. This one's flickering at a 20, 120 hertz, even though it's on a battery and the fluctuation depth is 93%. That is a huge, that'd be a huge neurological stressor if you have this constantly pulsing in your, in your eyes. So that's something I don't recommend, especially for people that may have epilepsy or neurological conditions that they're concerned about, because one of the reasons you do red light is for brain health. So the portable products from Mito Red Light, phenomenal. Zero flicker, zero magnetic fields, zero electric fields, highly recommend.